I'm seeking value and where you can find value is what other people disagree with you on, but you believe strongly. So my question to you is the contrary and question of Peter Thiel. What mm. is the thing that most people disagree with you, but you strongly believe to be the case? I think you know, one of the major issues I'm trying to solve is um, measuring biological age accurately in each organ. And people believe that's not possible. But yeah, I think I've found a way and I'll be, I'll be publishing on that soon. I didn't have any papers it's because I only want to publish like really good papers um, that not publishing for the sake of publishing. Yeah, I think people think you can't measure biological age accurately. Um, but I think you can, but it's a, quite different than the current, uh, the current methods right now. What is one thing that you believe very strongly, but most people disagree with you on that? Well, you know, I had some people at the National Institute of Aging uh, say to me that it hadn't been done before, therefore it can't be done. And I strongly disagree with that. Uh, I think those of us who were striving to make this happen, to find a path towards extending longevity, and I don't know if it's immortality. I think immortality is of the soul, is of the consciousness, but extending longevity, definitely possible. Are there limits to what we can do in terms of extending our longevity? I don't think so. I don't think there's any limits. I don't know what's possible there. But I do know that there is a way and we're going to find it. And when we, as we believe we have done, now it's a question of just going for it, of continuing the protocol to find out how long can we keep ourselves healthy vibrant and productive. I think it's possible to go for hundreds of years. Certainly we want to break through that 120 because no one seems to live past 120. So that's the first real important barrier. Well, okay, so if I'm 70 and my goal is to break through 120, that's 50 years out. There's a lot can go down in 50 years. A lot of life to live in 50 years. Oh, We'll see, you know, we'll see how it, how it looks when I, <laughs> as we get that close, maybe I fail, you know, but I, I try, I'll try. The contrary and question is the key to entrepreneurship, to have some secret knowledge, some insight into the world that most people disagree with. The familiar world is where people have consensus, the unfamiliar world is where your secret insight lies, the knowledge you have that most people would disagree with. What important truth do very few people agree with you on? I think the thing that's unknown to many people is that there is an option to live young for a lifetime because it's not anything that we see in our families. It's not taught in our schools. It's not suggested by our physicians. It's not in the medical system. Even in our businesses, when we get to a certain age, we're expected to retire. This whole aging process is reinforced. What's unusual is to say, no, I'm going to live young for a lifetime. That's very unusual for people to say that. What is it that very few people agree with you on? but you strongly believe to be the case? Probably the big thing I would say would be the benefits that the plasma has for the aging population, depending on how old you are. I think a lot of people think that the plasma is vampire-y, you know, torturing kids and because of the story that came behind it with Jesse Carmazian and, and all of that that happened in the past. And it, it, it hasn't been looked at really clearly again. And everybody else is just keeps hanging it on the rats, which I don't understand why. Nature Journal just keeps coming out with, and we gave it to the rats, and we gave it to the rats, and we gave it to the rats. So I think that the plasma has huge benefit for neurodegenerative disease and and people don't they don't see that for real neurodegenerative disease the neurologists and the 
you know, the neuroscientists, to me, should be giving it to all their patients. I mean, you have Parkinson's, but there's very little. They're like, no, it's snake oil. It's not working. We arrived to my favorite section of these interviews, which is the fear the contrarian question. What is it that you strongly believe to be the case? But most people disagree with you on that. Oh, this is tough. I like to think that a lot of my views are, are driven by science. Um, and usually science has consensus uh, because it's fact driven. Um, and, and so I would say that there's probably not a lot of contrarian opinions I hold um, necessarily in, the, in, in the, the field of aging. The most controversial topics with lack of consensus go to things like, um, is aging a disease? I think that right now the consensus is probably no. The FDA does not have it as a disease. The World Health Organization does now have an ICD uh, sort of extension code that lists aging as the cause of many disease, which is great. I think it's progress. But I think that you know many researchers here in the United States do not think aging is a disease. And I, I think that that is uh, something I would disagree with. I do think aging is a disease. Um, I do think it is modifiable and, and, and mitigatable, uh, maybe not in major ways at the moment, but certainly um, in ways that would affect quality of life and total number of years lived. It must necessarily be not correct in the eyes of most people, right? Very few people agree with you. That's where the value lies. 